Hey, what's up, guys? This is Thomas, and this is my second Remedy tutorial in the series Remedy Like a Boss. Okay, in this tutorial, I will teach you how to add the settings uh, settings button here. I don't click in the settings, we get a settings display to change the settings instead of manually set, uh, changing settings. Okay, first things first. The necessary files will be given in the description. This is the file which I am going to edit. So let's see. The first things first, we will create a variable files. In this, go to click the skin you want to edit. Right click and uh, click uh, edit skin. Okay, inside the edit skin here. Okay, this would be the color of the skin. Okay, the meter day. Okay, what it means is that only one. Uh, there is only one thing to display over here and this would be this this is the meter this will be the color so I will first I will change this color and show look see what happens 11665 let's see click save control s and and uh, go to right click here and click refresh okay we see that the color has changed green the first things first uh, okay right click the skin and go to the skin location okay here is the location of the skin so I am adding a new in uh, variable files a new text document uh, make it includes I n includes okay open that file okay open that file and inside that put a tab over here like that and type variables okay we are adding a variable so here we need only one variable so let's name it color one c or one equal to okay let's copy this uh, this code of code to the okay, control c okay control v okay now this where is no okay okay now we have to save it as save as inside the same location of the skin itself save it as includes dot inc inc and make sure you all files are taken click save okay that's it close the file Images. now here we can see that an includes dot file has come over here just delete this file okay then what you have to do is again we edit now we are doing something more technical just to remove this line from here we are not directly specifying the color instead of that we are specifying variable se section p there okay now we have to include that inc file so that the data from inside the inc file can be used in this skin okay so we are going to include so that file so at include equal to equal to includes dot inc now save this okay and now just right click click uh, refresh we see that it's changed black because the color is not specified over here what we want to do is from inside this file okay i will show that file from inside that file i will open that file from inside that file we have to what you call get that color so what the name of the variable is color one so what we are going to do is so this uh, as this file is included the color one will be available here so we put font color equal to equal to color one color one is a variable so put hash hello one hash now save it now just to refresh this thing okay we see that this has changed to green so let's uh, do some tricks we will edit this variable from here and see whether it's working okay red i will make some blue something like that red red green green blue, blue save this file and just refresh this file okay now it's changed to some dark blue something dark color okay okay i'll put it here now just minimize this file now we want to add the settings window to, to this one so for that what you have to do is okay this one we, we want settings what you call that settings a small icon over here so copy this icon this folder will be given in the description copy go to our skin location and this is our skin location go to the 
main folder inside that make sure you have a folder called resources at the rate resources with r capital and inside that okay you don't need to worry about this just paste this file over here and okay name is settings.png and we have to make that settings come in this what do you call mm, skin so it's like over here setting oops, 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 oops. Okay, meter set meter setting settings inside that. Okay, not meter is clear. Maybe we have a button. I'll just save this one and I'll just refresh this one. Okay, okay, now we have a small settings thing over here. On clicking, nothing will happen. For that, again, we have to go to do is go to the, the resources of the. Of, this is the main skin Malayalam calendar. Uh, inside the resources folder, we have to paste something the, which is the config config folder. Okay, we have a folder called config over here. Just copy that folder and paste into the resources folder of our skin. Okay, Control V. Resources folder of our skin. Okay, 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 it's done. Now what we have to do is just click this one, edit skin. Now go to this code, put this code over here. This one. Okay, this code. You don't have to worry about this. Just copy this and paste it over here. Okay, what this does is this. Here we have to specify the path of the config.exe which is inside the config folder. Hash at hash means direct path to the resources folder. So resources slash config slash config.exe that will be the file which is going to be executed. Okay, I'll show you show that file. Okay, this one. Okay, what this file actually looks for is it looks for a file named rainconfig.cfg file. So we have to put that rainconfig config.cfg file I provide that file with to you okay, just copy this file control C and paste it to the location of your skin okay the Malayalam calendar go to Malayalam calendar this is the skin location calendar here just paste this file okay what we have to do is to edit this file and make sure make sure make sure okay I'll tell you this name includes oh, no 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 something we have to do is that uh, we have to rename this includes dot inc to uh, you okay oh sorry file oops to something else actually user variables user variables okay and inside the skin also change this one to uh, include file to user variables okay now it's okay just refresh to see if it's working yeah it's okay user variables what we have to do is I'll show you make sure that user variable this is a user variable file edit okay this is a two files this name corresponds to this name these two remain same variables must be there the files must be there the file specify which is the name of the include file make sure that you name it as user variables dot inc so this name corresponds to this name and this thing over here should be the name of this thing over here okay and just save both these files okay and inside the okay inside this thing make sure this button command is written over here then just click save and hit the button okay now this one pop up window should appear the color one this color one is actually the color one inside the user variables let's see if the value okay user varies the use our skin folder calendar user variables edit 
Okay, this is one one three three eight eight. Okay, I will change this value. Oops. Click color one over here and change this two two eight eight four four. Then click set. And click close. Right click just refresh the screen. Okay, now we see that the color has changed. Now click color one. Four four three three two two. Click set. Click close. We go refresh. Yes, the color has changed. Okay, this is how it should work. But I think this can work without what you call without refreshing the skin again. Just try it. Click color one. Okay, make sure the color one file or for close or notepad files and then see. Yeah, well, that's the way we basically add this settings window to this one. Click set, close, and just right click, uh, refresh this one. Okay, we see the car has changed again. Okay, okay, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial, and have a nice day. Thank you.